What's up guys, this is Eddie, welcome to a new video, Rage DPS, let's go! Alright, first thing first, we're gonna look at the gear, we're gonna look at artifacts, we're gonna look at base mods and skill points allocation. Right now I am 331 CR and my gear mods are Blasted Doctor 5 for weapon, Supercharged new and Boost 3 for head socket, uh, Escalating Might for neck, Berserker for back, Penetrating Strike for chest, Restorative Plasma Rage for legs, uh, Maximum Damage for hands and Dashing Combos for feet. Right now the base might is 88,876. I'm also using Might Legion in face mod. Uh, I also have uh, Might Affinity mod bonuses and also base Might mods. Looking at the artifacts, the first one is going to be transformation card. You get 20% critical chance and 30% critical magnitude on attacks. And we have strategist card. It will all, it will apply a damage over time. It will increase your uh, critical chances as well. So increases the potency of tactical advantage by 30%, right? And basically you will get more damage out of it. And the third one is solar amplifier to amplify your heat vision. It burns the enemy, it does damage over time, and it, it's also an AoE damage at 160 uh, rank. So make sure transformation card and strategy card at 200, they work really well together. Now, looking at the skill points. Weapon, I'm using brawling and into martial arts, uh, but if you don't want, if you have low skill points, you can just get, you know, a few um, points in here, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or, or something like that, or whatever weapon you're using, let's say hand blaster, you're just using 1, 2, 3 right so you can only get put three or four points in weapons uh, super speed we're gonna get speed force and we're gonna get all the way down here for scrolling dervish and for iconic powers heat vision new venom boost robot sidekick stat points super powered critical attack chance critical attack damage and put everything in might and power and then get precision risk loadout is pretty simple it's one two three four literally you pop amplified heat vision and it burns the enemies deals damage over time does a burst uh, damage as well number two is plasma wretch plasma wretch is also damage over time it inflicts plasma burn on enemies makes enemies vulnerable to plasma attacks number three is dreadful blast this is your combo power whole range into two so if your enemies are already plasma burned by your plasma wretch number two power you will do additional damage number four is devastating change it's a pull but it's also your finisher so if the target is below 35% health it deals extra damage and uh, it's also a combo hold melee for every straight but it's blockable so uh, you have to be careful for that if you but since we're gonna be range DPSing for single target we're not gonna do the combo so number five is robot sidekick number six is new venom boost now people are some people are using berserk for rage it's really really good but with upcoming changes for supercharge very very soon it's gonna be nerfed really bad new venom also got nerfed i think it's now 30 second uh, right now it's 45 seconds but it's gonna be 30 second uh, supercharge and it's also uh, they nerfed it by i think two percent so but still it's really good it's worth it so go for new venom boost now let's look at the rotation so we're gonna start with heat vision go into plasma combo clip with illustrating heat vision plasma combo one and clip the second one and chain so on sparring targets it's just to show the rotation with the parser it's not accurate at all it's you can see it's doing 51 something or whatever but if you do if you use these in raids it's gonna be different there's also one more rotation which does more damage on spying target but it's not that good in the real situation. So 61,000. We did 52.2% crit right there but still it's this is this is my rotation. The other loadout what you can you do is you replace plasma wretch with channel hit, right? This is another another loadout. This one does not have any PI, but it still do good damage. So it's up to you, your liking. You can use either one of them. 
So this rotation is basically pretty much same one two three four. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get out of channel hit after like three ticks and go back into heat vision. So heat vision, dreadful blast combo, third one clip, and channel hit, weapon tap to get out of it, heat vision, combo. Weapon tap to get out of it. So this rotation works too, but it just didn't work for me. So I'm just using the other one I showed you. So it's up to you. If you guys prefer this rotation, go for it. All right, for range irritation, everything is same. Uh, same might everything everything is same uh, specs are same and you know but the only thing different is under iconic powers we are also getting freezing breath so the rotation is gonna be something like this we're gonna do plasma rich into dreadful blast clip the third clip the third uh, whole range no second whole range with heat vision then do dreadful blast again clip the second hold range with freezing breath this is how it's gonna look like do heat vision let it go dreadful blast and you cancel it after three ticks So around 99,000, you can say 100k damage for range, it's not bad. This is Rage Range AoE loadout and with Neo Venom Boost it can go up to around 120k, 130k. Uh, make sure you're buffed and you're good to go. Let's look at the melee rotation. Alright, so for melee everything is same for the base mods and everything, but the only thing we are changing is Grimorium for solar amplifiers so grimorium is your pet it's going to do additional damage it's going to also apply pi you can see right here rage you know plasma burned so there's that right as far as the sp specs are concerned i'm using weapon brawling same but only three because i'm not going to be using that too much super speed i like to get this but if if you, if you have low skill points you don't need to get this just get whirling dervish and iconic powers you don't need to get heat vision you can get new venom boost and robot sidekick stat points are everything is same but instead of precision we went for health because we're gonna be you know up front with the boss or the uh, ads so we need more health so we can survive loadout is swear punishment so this basically when in dps draw uh, while active you gain a searing aura that damages nearby enemies over time so basically a damage over time power but also it will heal back a portion of damage taken for 8 seconds for you know uh, some amount but since you will be in DPS role it will not heal you as much as it will heal you in tank role but still it's worth it number 2 is outrage it's a combo power tap melee to perform outrage a second time so once you're about to rage crash you can pop outrage and it will uh, ignore all the damage caused by rage crash right Plasma burn enemies take additional damage, but now since we are using Grimorium, that means the PI is going to be applying uh, applied by the Grimorium itself. So plasma, it will already be plasma burn, so they will take additional damage. Number three is Lacerate. It plasma burn enemies take additional damage, and also it reduces the rage crash effect. So that means, let's say in case you forgot to pop outrage, you can do this and you will still rage crash but you will not get as much damage as you should without these two so this is lesser number four is whirling dervish i know some people hate it it's iconic power why are you guys using this blah 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 the thing is it works so why not right you can use revenge instead of that you can use uh, maybe dreadful blast it's up to you but i like to use whirling dervish Let's try it it works number five robot sidekick your pet number six new and boost uh, increase the damage output and let's look 
at the rotation now all right so we're gonna look at the rotation the first one we're gonna pop one we're gonna go for outrage number two we're gonna go for number three let it uh spin for a while then we're gonna go number four and also if you have dashing combo number four right so when you're doing this and you uh, press your melee oh wait i missed it you did this you do this and press melee it will go forward and do additional damage so you can clip your uh this combo with any other power so let's do it again Okay, so you guys get the idea 114k for melee it can go up if you're buffed and also depending on the situation depending on the ads which rate you are in so this is my melee as i said before you can replace whirling dervish with any other power you want you can change to revenge you can change to dreadful blast but yeah so this is it guys if you have any questions just let me in the comment section below and i'll get back to you buff up Make sure you use trinkets, make sure you use orbitals, henchmen, make sure you use nitro, compound, and enjoy your rage power. So, this is it. I'll see you guys next time.